Does your MacBook overheat in Windows? Well, this is somewhat of a solution, and it only works in some cases, and it's definitely not going to work if you need high power for things like rendering. But it works if you're just running a type of program that doesn't work under OS X. So right now you see the temperature. It's 40. I would record this with a screen capture program, but it runs horribly on this computer because the graphics are just horrible with the GMA 950. But even when I do things, it doesn't change that much. It stays around 40. Granted, I have just turned it on. And right now, if I want full CPU performance, I could change it to balanced. And if we do the same thing again, and look, it spikes all the way. Uh, it spiked to 50. So basically, if you're doing anything that doesn't really need a lot of power, I changed it to power saver. Basically, what you do is you go to change settings under power saver, advanced. Right. You go down to processor power management, and the minimum is fine. And you change your maximum. Right now, my plugged in is 50 and my on battery is 25%. So if you open up real temp, you can see that the processor is only running at about 1 gigahertz, which is about 50% of 2.16 gigahertz. So the processor is not running at full speed, so it does not overheat as much. And if you do need your performance, then you can always just change it back to balanced, which is 100% CPU. This is just a small way of fixing the one of the things I hate most on this computer.